Hawaii welcomes Pele back to the surface of Kilauea Volcano. A Hawaiian only sounds out into the night sky at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, where a small crowd gathered overnight for a distant glimpse of the new eruption at the summit. It has been over two years since the red glow of lava has been seen on Hawaii Island. This time, the eruptive activity is confined to the summit called Dera, and it has not threatened life or infrastructure. The start of the eruption was marked by a dramatic steam cloud. The steam cloud could be seen miles away from the summit of Mauna Kea. This video was captured through summit cameras by remote observer Lisa Wells, using the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope. The steam column can be seen billowing up over the cloud tops. The glow from the eruption lights up the sky from below. Emergency officials said on Monday morning that the new eruption has stabilized. Here's the morning radio message from Hawaii County Civil Defense. This is a civil defense message. This is a local earthquake update for Monday, December 21st. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports that the situation at the Halema'uma'u crater of the Kilauea volcano has stabilized. The crater lake has evaporated and is slowly being replaced with a lava lake. The threat of ash fallout is very low but is possible in the Ka'u and South Kona districts. Please visit the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory website for the latest information on the Kilauea volcano. You will be informed of any change in conditions that may affect your safety. Thank you for listening. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency. On Sunday night at approximately 9.30 p.m. Hawaiian time, and amidst a swarm of small earthquakes, a glow was seen within the summit crater. This webcam captured the moment that the eruption commenced. About an hour later, a magnitude 4.4 earthquake on the volcano's south flank shook the island. The area has been the site of over 30 earthquakes of a magnitude 4 greater during the past 20 years. Most are caused by abrupt motion of the south flank, which moves to the southeast over the oceanic crust. Widespread damage was not reported. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory lowered the volcano alert level from warning to watch, and the aviation color code from red to orange reflecting the less hazardous nature of the ongoing eruption. The scientists later said the alert was at first raised to the maximum level due to the presence of the water lake at the summit and the potential for steam-driven explosions. But the water lake has since boiled away and the eruption is currently confined to the summit crater. HVO said activity over the past 10 hours has been characterized by three fissure vents on the north and northwest walls of the crater. Fountaining lava is estimated to be up to 82 feet high. The vents are feeding into a growing lava lake below. The new lava lake has been rising several yards per hour since the eruption began. It exhibits a circulating perimeter, but stagnant center. The event has been accompanied by only moderate amounts of deformation, indicating deflation of a magma reservoir under Hale Ma'uma'u. Rates of tilting have decreased slightly since the beginning of the eruption. They also say that visitors to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park should note that under southerly wind conditions, rock falls and explosions can result in a dusting of powdery or gritty ash, composed of volcanic glass and rock fragments. These ash falls represent a minor hazard, but visitors should be aware that dustings of ash around the summit are possible. High levels of volcanic gas, rock falls, explosions, and volcanic glass particles are the primary hazards of concern regarding this new activity. Scientists say it is unclear how long it will continue. Kilauea summit eruptions over the past 200 years have lasted from less than a day to more than a decade. HVO continues to monitor, and they say they will report any significant changes. They are also in constant communication with Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and the Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency.